In this problem, we're told to draw the free body diagram for a basketball player A, just before leaving the ground, and B, while in the air. So what is a free body diagram? So essentially, a free body diagram is a image we're going to draw, and essentially what it does, it labels the different forces acting on an object. So let's go ahead and do A. So imagine we have this player. So here's our basketball player, and we know they're going to be, uh, A is just before leaving the ground. So they're going to be on the ground. So what are the different forces? So there's going to be one force acting downwards and one force acting upwards. So the force acting downwards, you can label it how you want. I generally uh, label it F sub whatever, like whatever the object is. So I'm going to call it F sub P for F sub player. And so essentially what this is, this is just uh, the mass times the acceleration, right? We know force equals mass times acceleration. In this case, it's just the gravity, right? So essentially we have F sub P going down, creating a force this way, right? Because when you're on something, you create a force pushing down on it. So that's one force. But then we have the normal force. And essentially, a normal force is just a force that acts perpendicular to uh, the force you're exerting on it. Because we know, like according to Newton's th third law, that for every action, there is an opposite or equal reaction. So for every force, there's going to be an opposite force acting in the same direction in order to make it so it doesn't move, right? Because like if this force was greater and there was no force acting this way, it would be moving. But we have this force acting upwards. So we call this F sub N, which is just the normal force. So we have this force acting that, uh, upwards. So these are your two forces for this one. This is going to be your body diagram. What about B though? So B is going to be a uh, wall in the air. So we're going to draw them in the air. So when they're in the air, there's only going to be one force. So we only have F sub P. So the force of the player, right? mass times gravity so that's the only force this way and so keep in mind since they're not touching the ground there is going to be no normal force so we don't need to draw the normal force for this one because it's not like uh the air is pushing back on him it's just the just his force going on the ground he's not touching any other object so this right here is going to be your answer to uh b and so yeah that's how you draw a free body diagram